Um, and welcome to some more Let's Play Rata's Lord of the Dead. And still on hard difficulty and still holding on somehow. Um, so let's see. Uh, as this is the ec second episode, we are still in the first dungeon of the five, which is here in the mines. And about halfway through to the end boss. Uh, what's the situation here? The skeleton needs some more healing. Let's leave it there. Looks alright. Um, what might be a useful idea or a fatal one is using here this coin. I can use it only once, but I have two. Um, the enemies are um, have more health points, but I get more stuff should I succeed. Mana is a bit low. I don't have any money. Ugh, two elite enemies. Last time I faced two elite enemies, half of my guys died. The only thing I could think of would be to... Uh, alchemy. To heal my guys a little bit. Um, I have five of these, so let's spend one of them. Five flesh, let's spend. And let's uh, this. Behold my work. Didn't do that much, but maybe it makes a difference. Hmm. What's that guy here again? Oh, some sort of executioner. Uh, oh right, I have a jar of acid, so I give him minus armor and minor resistance. Um, so I also remember him on lower difficulties to execute my guys reliably, so yeah, let's see who of those survives. Um, okay, what can we do? First, speed up my people a little bit. Speed of thought. Now, the spider woman. Heal herself up. Mm, no. Uh, target loses luck and evasion. Now, how tough is that guy? He has no armor. He has two wards against magic. No resistance. No evasion. 180 ex uh, hit points. So, he's much tougher than the others. So, I guess I just. I uh, hope that he won't execute my guys and first focus on the rest. What does this guy do? At the beginning of the next turn we'll deal basically double damage to a random target. That's inconvenient, but I don't think I have anything that um, breaks stances here. Now... What I could do is this. I could pull in the executioner. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Um, that goes through his ward, but it reduces his damage, and maybe he's poisoned. So yeah, so now he's poisoned, um, meaning he loses health and sanity until the either I all of my people die or all of them or he dies. So that's not too bad, uh, and he deals less damage. Uh, the bright, uh, let's buff her up. Now about him. Each time the enemies receives a buff. I don't know about how many of those buff a lot. Uh, so I just start hitting people. I guess this one here isn't that durable. Durable enough. It's good that my frost guy, what is he called? Unfrozen blocked that. Now what can he do? The target receives 30% more damage from all sources. Well, that's nice. Uh, target loses to initiative and hits two people. Destroy a trap. Maybe I should focus on this guy like I do now this. And the spider woman. Uh, she then debuffs all enemies. The good thing that means that they are all poisoned. 
or most always. Uh, so I think I'll do that. Not allowing them to move, I don't think that matters that much. What does he do whenever a minion moves, attack it? Oh, that's inconvenient because she'd move forward. Uh, I guess I just have her then attack random people. Good job, zombie. But now he's out of blocks. Uh, I hope that by now I'd have enough. Nice. Kill him while he is uh, while he's getting 30% more damage. No. Death comes for everyone. <laughs> yeah, he says that after he missed. Uh, what can he do? Magic attack. Deals 100% damage to do enemies and they're slower. Yeah, let's. This is my kind of entertainment. Uh, oh. Uh, let's see what else. Um, interrupt stances. That sounds nice. Now she moves when she attacks, and when he, when somebody moves, he attacks while he's in that stance. So I'm not sure what goes first. Will this attack interrupt the stance, and so he doesn't strike back, or will he first strike? Yeah, I will see. Learn something again. The attack goes first. Uh, Hit somebody at random. Well, at least not all of them are poisoned. And this guy. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just keep whacking people, I guess. Now, actually, I'd like him to be a little bit behind. Does the knight have any ability that moves him forward? Oh yes, this one. But only if it's further back. Uh, I think I'll move the knight to the front. Uh, destroy a trap doesn't help. Maybe again this thing where the enemies receive more damage. Fire! There will still be enough left to reanimate. And um, well, that the target is debuffed doesn't do that much, but I hope that this kills him. Oh, it the poison will. Uh oh, that guy starts to execute. At least he here is getting weak out of fear. Deals less damage and gets more damage. That's nice. But this guy is starting to get a little bit annoying. And why is his... Oh, there's his poison. I thought he lost his poison ability. Uh, destroy traps. Uh, let's... At least he has no wards anymore. Uh, maybe this here? With the less luck, maybe doesn't crit that off. There goes my zombie. Not zombie, but my frozen. Well, he existed only for two fights. Uh. Does he not die of this? He has 27 health left. He gets um, about 13 of this. So he has 14 health left, and he loses here 14, but it doesn't say true damage. But I'm positive. Well, I'll first have her... Toss them in with the rest. Burn! Uh, heal yourself, a little bit at least. Well, As considering your suffering ends, your service begins. Oh, I got a humanorium token. That means that in my list of enemies, I have now more information about these. Well, 
But I liked the frozen guy, so that's a shame that he's gone. At least the skeleton is back. Uh, let's first see what's next. More money. Sure, why not? Next enemy group has one elite enemy, so that's acceptable. I have two talent points. Uh, all my guys receive evasion. Might be useful. Uh, oh, I wanted to save on this thing. I think where I get more stuff. Maybe this is actually not a bad idea here. Um, that way all my guys heal twice as much when I use the distillation ability. I use this more or less often now. Through transformation the will becomes free. And this here might also be nice before very hard fights. All my minions deal 10% more damage and receive 10% less damage for an entire fight. Now... I could either save 450 or I upgrade here something. I think I upgrade something. What do we have here? More Wrath? So I think I'm slowly getting low on mana so this here might make sense. Um, for this we need a bride. Where is she? That requires some flesh, some blood, a heart, some bones. Uh, a design from my younger years. Uh, let's make sure that I use this now one. Now there's a handsome fellow. A shame his talents were never fully recognized back in the academy. Uh, I'll just take all this mana as repayment instead. Yeah, I think I'll just continue like this. Should I put the skeleton in front? It's maybe not a bad idea. It got more health. And then the knight. Um. Uh, that's an. Well, now I have here the traps where the frost guy that could disable traps is dead. But well, that seems like an annoying situation. We have a mage that deals a lot of damage, a guy that buffs others. But if I kill him first, they are more motivated. An elite guy and this here. Well. Speed my guys up again. Speed of thought. And let's just start dealing damage, I guess, and poisoning people. And she gets a buff. What's what did she get for debuff? Reduced accuracy? Well that's annoying. Um each time an enemy receives a buff that deals some stress damage. Uh oh, I don't like that that much. Now the skeleton could make all the people there. Uh, I think I'll first do the other things. Um, I think I'll give the skeleton increased armor and resistance. And the spider should now start poisoning people. Oh, I forgot that moves her to the front. Does she have an ability that moves her back? Three to the front? No. But he can move to the front. Okay then. Ah, uh, what's it? All of. They all have blocks here, so let's focus on killing that mage, I guess. Well, they would surely block this. But I got rid of two blocks at once. Should I stress them out? I don't know if that's a good idea. But it takes... Uh, 
let's beat them up again. I'd like to have her use her ability, but that takes so long. Uh, hmm. Uh oh, oh! I forgot those traps are here. Oh. No, not my knight. Uh, I guess she just starts debuffing people. Don't kill the knight. Don't kill him. No. Oh damn it! Now he's moved here. Uh. Well, if the knight, if it would be the knight's turn, then he could use his ability to heal himself. But they're like all enemies, it's their turn before that, so I don't think that will happen. So I can just as well use this knight. I'll soon embrace your new existence. I think it's time to say goodbye to the knight. Uh, but maybe this here, Mark's a minion has a 100% chance to redirect attacks that target the marked. Except that now the skeleton is dying. Uh oh. Well, there goes the knight. Uh, fire! Damn it, they're just far too fast. There, does this here deal faster? Speed of thought. Uh, I can. This one is most likely to die first, but if I kill him, the others are more motivated. I could try this here. But that guy has no buffs. Or I could try to drive them insane. Not sure if that's... Well, he's scared. Well... Funny. Now he got scared and then he attacked the guy, the taskmaster, and because everybody hates the taskmaster, the death of the taskmaster motivate them, motivated them again. Uh, okay, how much does... Uh, what ability... I sh think she goes back here into our cocoon. Fire! was your first mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> You're last. Uh, my nice knight died. That's sad. Uh, I think first I built here one of these. Uh, for this we need a skeleton. Skeleton requires bones, armor, skull, weapon. Uh, you go work here. The excavation is far too extensive. No, I think the next was not thing the heals my battle. guys. All these bodies were placed here deliberately. That's not a bad idea. Now, um, she has an additional skill point. Um, I think I'll just use this here because I always use that. Where she gets more powerful. Um, Get yeah. back to battle. And she has here three uh, stat points. 
Let's increase her luck so that she crits more often. The Black Widow. I'm not too sure. I think I'll um, increase her armor. The Skeleton. Initiative. One for one point. That's a steal. Um, and now it's... Who's next here? Oh, it's one of those is a golem, I think, but no elite. Um, now, who do I need? Let's see, I have a tank, I have a damage dealer, and I have a debuffer. Uh, what I could need next is a healer. What's with a blood phantasm? What does that do again? Um, when it dies, it heals the rest. Well, I don't want it to die. But it reduces the risk of my party losing. Uh, I think... Stands, when it receives damage, it heals the rest of the group. But the skeleton is supposed to receive damage. Uh, what else do we have? A headhunter, maybe? Another damage dealer? Yeah, maybe that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's just try him out. Uh, some dust. I don't have any improved parts here yet. Sometimes you get parts that are a little bit better. There'll be a mountain of human heads when I'm done. Uh, now I have two brains left. Let's give him the fiver brain. And here's your one skill point that I can use instantly. So let's see. Um, enemies have a lower chance to escape when in battle with a headhunter. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, when they escape, then I win, right? Hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, this here, he can use that from the two back rows, but I'm unlikely to put him there. Um, deals a little bit of damage to all enemies. What over here? He can use that everywhere, but it moves him back. Um, marks an enemy and then deals more damage and never misses. That's nice. Stress attack. I haven't dealt that much stress damage yet. Deals 100% damage, ignores block, and that sounds nice. Attacks two random enemies. That sounds all pretty decent. Attacks two random enemies. Oh, here it's not random. 5% chance to immediately kill an enemy. So it attacks two enemies. So it has here you know, more than 5%. Um, I mean, the chance is not very big, like every 20 times. No, well, not 10%, but maybe, I don't know. Um, like every 16 times or so when he uses that, he kills somebody. Maybe this is better. Pulls an enemy to the front. That can be useful. Has a 50% chance to stun the enemy. Yeah, I like a 50% chance stun. For a nasty surprise. Now for just... Uh, well, for 4 stat points he gets here 10 health. That seems useful. And let's increase here the damage. And... Uh, he has a really low hit chance. Okay, let's see how that works out. Uh, should I speed my guys up? No, they all act first anyway right now. Um, so the skeleton... Protect this guy and get some more armor and stuff. 
She powers herself up. Him. He's then moved back. I don't know if I like that. I think I just attacked two random enemies. Eh. And she starts debuffing enemies and poisoning them. Uh, maybe I should have done that on that golem first. What for buff does the golem have now? 10% accuracy? Eh, yeah, could be worse. Um, the skeleton... Uh, still protects him. What can D he do here in front? Uh, let's do this here. Let's pull this guy here in front. Oh, right. The golem has a chance to redirect attacks from other people against him. Uh, to him. That's annoying. Well, let's start poison people, I guess. Everybody at once. And she... Is that a stance? I don't think so. Yeah, let's just start hitting people, I guess. This guy's already damaged. Stupid golem. What's with her? Is she stunned? Damn it. Now oh, he also has this ability here where he deals a buttload of damage all at once. But I think that's better when there are fewer enemies left. Before that, I'd rather use her ability to hit everybody. Uh, let's do. Let's move him back. The skeleton. And fire! Carve open their husks. Wow. Oh, no, both have this. Well, I guess he took care of the golem. That's nice. Uh, okay, however, I should not move too much right now because both of these will attack anybody who moves. Let's try this out. The skeleton, um, I think I'll have him protect the spider. The spider will heal a bit. Uh oh. Fire! That's gonna leave a mark. I hope one of them dies. Nice. Uh, let's just do this again. My kingdom comes. So currently, whenever it's a um, minion's enemy's turn, she heals up and that guy dies anyway, so I'll have her basically skip her turn, so that the spider has more time to heal and then he dies of the poison, I guess, or she can take care of him. Mop up the gore. Oh, what do we have I here? Hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. If the minion starts the turn position one or two, they regain five Vigor until the end of battle, up to five times. That might be nice for the skeleton. Uh, oh, and the ring. Uh, where's my... Here, what does the ring do? Increase the baseline chance that an enemy will die due to a... Well, that, that doesn't help me too much. I rarely scare enemies that much. What do we have here? A coffin filled with items. Oh, I can choose something. Um, the minions attacks restores mana. 
that's not bad, huh? With low on mana. Not super low though. Minion can't be moved. Eh. Reduces damage received from elite abilities. Maybe that could be good for the skeleton to be even more tanky. Amazing what they just leave lying around. Oh wait, I wanted to give it this. Oh, it already has two. Well then, let's go with... Uh, does he have an ability to go to the front? Oh yes, here. This here. But requires Wrath. Well, I think I'll give him this. And with this, I uh, wait, I don't currently have somebody with a free slot who is that often on the front. Uh, yeah, that's that, I guess. I think I'll go now with this. All my guys have more health. Oh, it requires three points. Huh. Now, what's a little bit annoying is that the skeleton is a bit low on health. So... Ah, uh, one elite guy. So let's craft a new tank. Uh, not sure if the blood phantasm is a good idea. I mean, it can heal itself. And it has here the stance where it heals others. Mm. Should we try that? Could also go with another golem. Isn't she also a tank? Uh yeah, that can heal herself. And um, place a trap and can't leave. Attacks five tap. Mm. I'm not sure. Maybe this here is not all that bad. Here. Yeah with this thing, then with this attack she interrupts stances, which is useful, and she herself enters her stance and deals damage to anybody who attacks her, and if she attacks somebody that way she gains health back. That way she already has two abilities. Yeah, let's try that. What do I need for a damp pyre? Uh, this, a heart, some blood, and this. Now that you are on my team, I expect less brooding and more killing. Now, the thing is, I'm currently low on brain, so now if a lot of people die, I have nobody of a higher level. So I think I'll craft somebody else and put him in the arena to learn something. Uh, let's go with a ghoul for a change. Needs to meet more blood. And a heart. And let's put the ghoul here so that she can learn something. And the damper, let's go with that. That way she has more health and she can serve me well, my gain minion. health. And let's make her a little bit tougher and even more tougher. Now she has quite a lot of health. Well, only the spider has more. And, well, let's assume, let's be positive. Uh, let's make the enemies tougher, but, but I get more perks. Features, no? And the Fallen Damper also gets this. That way she gains more health. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, here we have an entire Lita squad. Here we have a quest. There's quite some trouble coming up. Uh, 
Okay, um, now let's first speed my people up. Now... She is really well warded. And... Each time she gets damaged she buffs everybody else, so I don't really want to hurt her right now. Each time receives damage? Well, I would... Try not to poison her, I guess. Uh, now, the spider lady. Um, I don't really want to poison her. But then again, if I do a random attack on her, that would remove one shield. Uh, Yeah, let's debuff him. She Yeah, let's focus on him. And she uses here let's try out the special stance. Oh it doesn't work for her? Oh I have to choose an enemy. <laughs> um. So both of these cost wrath. One deals here um, attacks three times for forty percent damage, or attacks five times. So this this is twenty damage, and this is eighteen to twenty one. Here the enemy loses all resistance, and here loses all armor. I think I go with uh, this here. Let's also start burning him. There goes the cover cars and nonsense. Uh, can she move enemies? Oh yes, she can move enemies to the front. Uh, now if she moves her or two to the front then he's in the back. And would damage those two. Hey, that's a, a bad idea. Now he can also move people to the front. You go here. Straight through pain. And you move uh, him to the front. Now you can explode. One by one, life vanishes from this world. Okay, now, uh, interrupt a stance, maybe? Let's do some damage to each. And... Ah, your frail bodies fail you. Does that also work on herself? All allies? I'm not sure if that also works on herself. I don't think so. Uh, what can she do here again? Uh, Your frail bodies fail you. Fire! 
That actually so worked out well enough. Oh, lots of crap. Um, lots of money. A saddest hand increases all damage dealt by 10%. That's nice. Um, lots of parts, including a purple dust. Um, so basically, the next time I craft one of my people with that dust, then that person gains 14 extra studs. Or I can move it to one of my current guys. Um, but let's first see minion specific items who I mean that doesn't make really sense with people who are already maxed out with items right unless I want to replace them so let's craft who did I have oh yeah let's take this ghoul you come here and let's get some minion specific items So what do we have here for the hunter? 5% um, chance to kill an enemy with any attack. So that's really neat. Um, the Dampire receives a buff that reduces the damage by 5%. Oh, that's also powerful. The ghoul receives one stack of the lunch break. Now I really like this because um, the ghoul becomes much more powerful while he has this buff. And um, she can also eat that to heal herself. Well, the bride, she already has a buff. So I'm not sure. I currently don't use the ghoul but, um, in my group. But if I would, then I definitely want to have this. But that way, the Dampe becomes far more... Uh, tu uh, far tougher. But here, 5% chance to kill an enemy with any attack. I think I'll take this. Uh, so congratulations, Dampir, you now gain this, uh, the ghoul goes back practicing, and the bounty hunter goes here to here, uh, yeah. Now I could um, increase this damage dealt by 10%. That would be something for all for her. I mean, that's also not bad. 10% more damage, and that also heals herself. Well, let's let's do that. And. Um, now the thing is, I have here this dust, so I could, for example, uh, oh, I don't really have any dusty types right now. What's with the headhunter? Uh, oh yeah, for example, I could give the replace the dust that the headhunter has, and that way you'd have 40 more stats. Or, yeah, but that would be of course wasting one because I'd replace the perfect dust that the headhunter has, but it becomes better. Or I keep it until somebody more powerful is, needs to be crafted. Yeah. Oh well, let's continue. An entire lead squad, that's, that's not nice. I'd really like to have this here by now, or not. Or this here. Well, I think I better heal myself, my people up a little bit. Where is it? Uh, alchemy, destillation, of which items I have the most skulls. Oh, maybe that's easier. I have one row of these. Let's take a second skull and one armor. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Mm. Oh, I have also some money left. Um, 
I think I just go with this. That could also help me in this fight. Then I start with 10 more wrath at the beginning. So that requires him. One piece of armor. One of this. One of this. And one of these. And you go here. And now you can be angry in the abode of wrath. Most words pay homage to the bloodthirsty gods of old. Whether they know it or not, I might be the only one left who has the Holy shit. This might not work as well, especially here the elite golem looks scary. Okay. What do we do? Uh, the Dampier will tag first. Buff! The target gains 4 armor and 4 resistance. That's maybe not a bad idea to give to the Dampier. Until the battle ends. She, I think, now poisons everybody. That's a good start. Uh... First, you go to the front again. And... Is this a stance? I think so. I think the purple ones are stances. Mm, I guess not. And you make yourself more powerful. Yeah, you just do anything. As long as it doesn't hurt my guys, I don't care. Ow! Oh. Uh, you make her tougher until the end of the battle. And you... Fire! Oh, he's half death. That's nice. That healed her up. And you start healing a little bit. Yeah, they really don't like her. So that didn't do too much somehow. Let's try it again. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Oh, he's not happy. He's panicking. What does that exactly do? Um, he's faster, but he's has a third chance to skip this next turn and he has only half chance to um, hit. Um, okay. So, uh, what do we have here? Oh, this here stacks actually three times. I think, I think I'll have the skeleton just go around and buff people. Fire! That's one guy gone. And... I don't want to poison all of them again because I might have to move this one. But this might be a decent idea. Um, the golem is looking really scary. So I'll reduce his damage by 20%. That's still a lot of damage. Uh, does the golem have more magic? No, it doesn't have magic resistance at all. Let's make use of that. That dealt a little bit of damage. Um, she's now healed up. And let's... Let's further annoy the golem and weaken him. Performs additional attacks for each buff that both of them already have a number of buffs. Oh, I forgot that the golem has this. Oh nice, he's going insane. 
The big problem is that he'll blow himself up and right now he'll hit me and deals a lot more damage. So let's try to move him back. Do you have something to move enemies? No, nothing. Then you just tank, I guess. Do you have anything to move enemies? Oh yes, this here. Move this guy back! Oh damn it! He, he hit the golem block that. Uh, well... If she goes one to the front... She can move one enemy to the front. Become part of the breathless oh, time. Oh, he killed my skeleton. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. I get the skeleton thing. I have no skeleton anymore. Oh. Well, I mean, that was an entire elite squad. So, you here come back. Now, the bride can get another. Let's increase her evasion. The Black Widow gets another talent point. What do I use a lot? I can't use upgrade the ultimate ability until, I don't know, she's level 15 or something, I think. Basically, I have to upgrade all other abilities before I can upgrade this, I think. So, I use sometimes this here. Um, where the enemy deals less damage. Oh, that here might be nice. The enemy loses all blocks and wards. That's that's great. Let's pick now, this. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. And let's improve her magic resistance a little bit. The dampire. Yeah, she sucks a little bit with the accuracy. That's better. I have three points here. I think I'll go with this here and hope that before the boss battle starts I'll have this here where all my guys deal more damage and receive less for an entire battle. And now everybody oh, gains... Reveal their secrets. Eight Weiger, that's nice. Um, let's see... Should I craft somebody new? Then the spider can heal up. Oh, I found some better flesh. Uh, what does he need? Ectoplasm, I have three of those. I think the lost soul deals mostly stress damage. Oh, she can also heal people. Oh, but then she attacks somebody right afterwards. Maybe I should craft one of... Ah, oh, but I don't have a lot of that stuff. Mm. Well, I could. Well, it's a bit of a waste. You can hear this. Here. The only annoying thing is that with the level 3, she's really a bit behind. I could give her a. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's save that brain. Hmm. Now, uh, what can she do? She can instantly kill enemies with less than 25% health. Um, but doesn't work against bosses or inedible enemies, like golems. 
She can digest enemies that have been devoured and gains uh, a lot of buffs. Um, attacks on ally and that heals herself. Um, here, a minion gains a lot of attack and luck and evasion for two turns. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's go with this here. Um, I expect results. Stats. Yeah, I think better hit chance, better initiative. That sounds decent. The only artifacts I have. I mean, I could craft some, but I'm a bit low on items. Let's see what's going on here. What looked to be an ordinary passage is soon to be revealed to be a part of an ancient maze. You do not recognize the architecture, so it must have been built after you were defeated in ages past. Nevertheless, it looks almost pristine, save for the piles of bones littering the hallway. Upon closer inspection, you realize that the passage is trapped and the way to disarm it is on the other side. So I have no flying minion. That's a shame. Um, I can risk my own guys, I don't like that. Or oh, this here, that has a 25% chance of failure. failure it's you realize um, you do not have the minutes to spare on this obvious death trap. Fortunately, you soon find a safe path. So that did nothing? Well, I guess... I thought failure means that nothing happens. Uh, well, that sucked. Oh, three elite guys. At least afterwards I can heal my people. How many more fights until the end boss of this of the mines? One, two, three, four, five fights. Okay. Um, we have here a crazy mountain man. Oh, a doomsayer. Um, while he's alive, his enemies don't flee and don't go insane as easily. And you can, from this position, reduce armor and stuff. Well. Okay, I think um, with this here, I'll start buffing her. Increasing. Oh, that was a bit of a waste, I guess, because she spends the first turn buffing herself anyway. Ah, who cares. And he starts... Oh, the Doomsayer has a ton of wards and crap. I guess he sh just starts hitting the golem. What does this do? Every attack against the ghoul is a critical? I don't like that at all. At least that missed. Uh, I think she'll now buff the Dampire. Oh, that's that's not nice. Savor these last few heartbeats. When it says for two turns, oh, for two actions, uh, that's better. Speed of thought. Well, that didn't do a lot. Of life. What are they doing here? At the beginning of the next turn, deals magic damage to all other characters. Uh. I 
I think you just buff him. And you now start keep hitting the front. And you also hit the front. Let's kill that stupid golem. Oh, nice. She can... So, I'm not sure. Is the proper thing a stance? Oh, he's warded anyway. This is what a thousand years well, of evolution looks like. The good thing is that he killed the golem, the doomsayer. Oh, I have enough wrath to use that, but the enemies are not low enough. Um, yeah, this here ignores block. Oh, that wasn't that smart, actually. This will be your end. Well, the good thing is only one guy is left, but he's really annoying. Um, 50% chance to stun an enemy. I wouldn't mind stunning him now. I also wouldn't mind my guys being a little bit faster. Oh, they all still have that buff. 50% uh, ch chance to stun. Oh, it doesn't work on the first guy. Uh, She could hit the Dampire. No, oh, she has to attack him to remove the sword. Uh. Kill him! Oh, that was close. My will is a tide that will wash away your pathetic civilizations. When I early Ally dies, receive attack and dread. I don't want allies to die. Guarantees to find a brain after victory one time use. That's nice. Uh. Oh, that can be used to raise levels. I hoped to think of that as a healing thing. Uh. I think I'll raise the levels of myself. So I need here... I want this here before I reach the boss fight. So I need two more talent points. Uh, yeah, my guys are not in good health. You go here and here. I mean, I should use once this... Oh, that's a bit painful, but I think I have to heal my guys once. Oh, I have a lot of armor. Uh, decent amount of blood. Yeah, I'm somewhat stuck with most stuff. It's no gold, but it will do. Yeah. Only one Elite in the next fight, but it's a mage. Oh, that looks like a ton of damage in the next fight. Two mages, one of them Elite, one of them is the crazy Doomsayer, and one is an Executioner. Ugh. Now, I believe that she can heal herself up with her damage, but the Headhunters might, be in, might have tough luck. So, I think I'll move him here. And let's craft somebody new. Let's try another golem, maybe. Hmm. 
Hmm. Another vampire. I think I'll try another golem. Um, that requires a lot of... Yeah, but I have enough of that crap. Ah, this is what a necromancer's war machine looks like. No, let's give you a slightly better brain. Still a bit low level. Oh. Now, the Damper can get you a new ability. Um, yeah, here she has I then more ways to heal herself. Results. And let's improve the damage a little bit. The spider. Uh, let's also... I don't know, I don't think the damage matters here that much if she does that much with a poison. Let's improve her initiative. Yeah. The golem... Here. Get back to battle. More. And... Let's give him some more... Earth. And didn't I have here an item for Rattus? Yeah, one time use, find a brain. Yeah, I'm slightly worried about this fight. Oh, they are fast too. Spider. Here reduces enemy luck. Uh oh. Yeah, she has to start dealing damage so that she doesn't die that quickly. Uh, she can tank a little bit, I guess. The golem gives her two blocks so that she lives a little bit longer. Perish. That's nice. That's not nice. Uh, that healed her already. What's this ability? Every attack is a critical hit. I think I'll give her this because then if somebody attacks her then she immediately counter attacks. I just hope that she doesn't doesn't get one shot by the executioner. the wrong one. That helped a little bit. But he's doing his crazy thing again here. Okay, I think the golem has to heal himself. That's nice. She attacks a random enemy. Who might that be? And she... Stupid words. Um, he has no armor or resistances.
Can I speed of thought? I should. Oh, he has two wards. That's annoying. Kill him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. My guy survived, but that was close. What do I have here? More money? I need to heal my people. Mm. Here's a healing thing right in front of the boss. Everybody's damaged. Um, I could <coughs> build here this, and then I'd have I could heal here two people every turn. Maybe that's an idea. Yeah, I think I need that. What do I need here? A banshee or oh, a wrath? Costs me how much? Fifty. Uh, breath, breath. Uh, so let's add. Oh, I'm low on ectoplasm. ectoplasm. Why do I get this sinking feeling in my putrefied gut? <laughs> Built on a foundation of bone. Now, the golem. I mean, he can heal himself up, but that would take so long. Same with her. Uh, who also is in bad shape. You are. Actually, about everybody is. Uh, I have two brains, so I can craft two new people. So... I think I'll leave him behind because he has no way to heal himself. So let's keep those two. Um, so let's craft two more people. Um, the ice guy might be nice because he can heal people. That's a good idea. He can heal her, her then up early on. Uh, one of these. Let's give him extra points. Yeah, sure, why not? Super extra points. Let's hope he's worth it. Last time he didn't last for long. If only they weren't so difficult to motivate. And now you get here a fiver brain. And now I want him mostly to heal at first. So he has to stand here in the back and improve this healing thing. Well, this here reduces um, 48 Wagger over two turns, or close to 60, but over three turns. I think I'd use that better two turns. Stats. Let's give him some more health. That's cheap. And a little bit more accuracy. That's also cheap. Oh, his initiative is crap. Maybe some more health. Some more damage while we're at it. And uh, five points left. A little bit of armor. And a little bit more evasion. Okay. The ghoul has some more stats. Uh, let's go with evasion. Now I have to craft one more. I need somebody who deals damage. She can tank, he can heal, she can buff. So who can deal damage? Uh, already have one of those. Already have one of those. A vampire? All oh, my blood supplies. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. I don't know if she deals that much damage, but that matches my supplies. 
Mine is the hand that feeds you. The blood of my foes. Now, what abilities can she use from... Well, I could also move the golem here. What ability can she use from the second position? Simply dealing damage, why not? Um, she can deal 30% damage of the current health of anyone, but she also harms herself. Uh, that here might be nice. All attacks against the target ignore both blocks and wards. Uh, and well, it moves her forward. That's not that great. Uh, in one case the enemy loses evasion and the other the enemy loses accuracy. I think I'll go with accuracy. Then the Edimer enemy is both less protected and deals less damage. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Let's give her some more health. And um Do I have a lot of resources of anything? Uh, no, I'm chronically under resourced. I think I'll still use Destillation once. Because so many people I have are damaged. Let's use one armor, so I'm down to four there. One of this. Oh, that's better. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'll make here a stop and continue next time. So it's just three more battles and the end boss. So that should be a nice next episode. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching and until next time.